Welcome to the weekend edition of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. I'm your host, Dave Palumbo, and I'm here to bring you all the latest news in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. It's Friday, May 29th, 2015. Let's get to it. Just days away from stepping on stage at the Omaha Pro Show, Darren Lytle looks like he's ready to hit the stage, guns a-blazing. Earlier this year, Lytle really turned heads with his fourth place finish at the St. Louis Pro, where he brought his best package to date. Despite the fact that this weekend's 212 event is not 20 competitors deep, Lytle is still going to have his work cut out for him, taking on the likes of Tricky Jackson and Hollywood Glenn. But if he shows up looking remotely close to the way he did in St. Louis, he can legitimately find himself battling it out for a top three spot. Just a few months removed from suffering a devastating knee injury that kept him on the sidelines and out of the gym, it looks like Al Augusti is finally on the road to recovery. Late last week, new footage surfaced of Augusti back in the gym training legs as he takes the first steps towards making his way back to the stage. Once upon a time, Augusti was a perennial top 10 finisher on the 212 Olympia stage but it's been nearly two years since we last saw him strap on a pair of posing trunks. But perhaps it'll be his journey back from injury that rekindles his competitive flame and brings the best Al Augusti back in full splendor. The Toronto Super Show is fast approaching and it looks like Danielle Saraluca is ready to bring her talents north of the border. The NPC national figure champion released some new photos earlier this week, 12 days out from making her 2015 debut. Sarah Luca's physique exudes beauty and elegance, but in a rapidly growing figure division has gotten lost in the shuffle during her last few contests as she got slightly outmuscled by some top name competitors. From the look of things, Sarah Luca seems to be on pace to really nail her conditioning this time around, and that might be good enough to propel her to a top five placing. It looks like setting a world record squat wasn't enough for 212 powerhouse amidst Sapir. Earlier in the week, Sapir released some new footage from a recent leg training session where we see the man with the only legitimate claim to be the world's strongest bodybuilder powering through a 745 pound squat in preparation for an upcoming powerlifting meet. Sapir has quickly grown into one of the premier squatters in the world at any weight and is currently prepping for another world record attempt later in the year. Yeah, buddy. For decades, athletes have stuck to the old dogma of reducing the weight and upping the reps in the gym during their contest prep. But apparently, Sean Clarita will not have any of this nonsense. Just days out from stepping on stage at the inaugural Puerto Rico Pro, Clarita is still in the gym doing what he does best, moving heavy-ass weights. Earlier this year, a much-improved Clarita brought home a controversial 7th place finish at the New York Pro. Now that the warning shots have been fired, if any of his fellow competitors bring anything less than their absolute best to this weekend in the island paradise of Puerto Rico, there's a very good chance that the giant killer could slay the competition and earn his first pro victory. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. Check out ironmaglabs.com today. I'm your host, Dave Palumbo, reminding you to always be true to your passions. And make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. <laughs>